Happy New Year to all you Flip Flap YouTubers. Welcome to the year 2020, where we start to basically, you know what? We are basically in the 2020s decade, eh? Let's just have a sneeze to basically commemorate this moment. <coughs> because I've got a freaking cold inside of me. But anyways, I'm going to start off with one of the first products I'm going to be taking a look at is something bright and colourful. And it's this. It's a miscellaneous spread coloured pigeons 12 pack, 14 pounds. Mind you, I could tell what guys, I wonder why I always start with pigeons in a new year. Well, I'll tell you a story about it though. Uh, back in 2015, or actually around 2016, when I had a bit of a, a sneak peek, well actually, it wasn't really a sneak peek, um, back in 2016, where I was basically watching the London New Year's Eve of 2015, slash New Year's Day of 2015, uh, I was obviously um, looking at if there's any signs of pigeons sitting on the trees, because there could be a sign here that maybe pigeons can be versatile, nocturnal. Oh yes, the infamous pea starve. What do you think, guys, eh? I don't know, maybe pigeons aren't nocturnal at night in your area. I'm pretty sure I've seen pigeons at night. Maybe at London, in fact, I've seen one um, four or five years ago. Maybe four and a half years ago, I actually came across a pigeon in Trafalgar Square, and it was foraging for food at night at the local Chinatown. Well, it wasn't the local Chinatown, it was more like the Chinatown out of London. Very interesting. So the colours that we've got is a brown, an orange or a peach coloured one. This one here is the flamingo coloured version, of course. There'll be more flamingo uh, pigeons in a sense. I actually said the word flamingo, <laughs> as in flamingo-esque starred pigeons. This one here is the golden, yellow, brightish, colourful pigeon, of course. Looks very happy, cheerful and things like that. I wish pigeons have their own expressions like this brown dude here. You should be more disgusted about this because brown's muddy, right? This one there, there's a blue one here. I wish this guy was a lot more sadder because, you know, I'm pretty sure blue does have a, you know, it does mean to everything when it comes into a melancholy feeling, isn't it? It almost looks like a macaw by the looks of it, of course, then a pigeon in a sense, though. Oh, look at this one here, this red dude here, mind you, if I gave an expression, an extra expression to that pigeon, it would basically make it a lot more in fury and in rage, I would guess, I suppose, eh? This one here, like the red one here, this one's the black one, of course, I would give it more of an angry eye, like the red one, of course, because I dare say that blackness means darkness, and darkness means... Diabolicacy. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's the way it is, though. Here's the purple pigeon. Oh, look at that! It's the infamous trash dove! Look at this, I could do this. <laughs> that's the infamous trash dove, baby! Oh, I, I could tell what guys, eh? This is how it looks like, the trash dove. How cool is that one, eh? Didn't realise there's a bit of a pecking feature order here. There you go. Okay, so it looks very, very nice. Here's another blue pigeon there. I only made two different varieties because I've actually realised that when I heard the term blue pigeon, I always refer to this colour here and and also the blue bar pigeon, which is basically the pigeon that we all tend to see as basically the uh, the doppelganger of the original wild rock dove, which is the pigeon that we all see at all times, I would say, which is basically the city pigeon that we all know and love. It's the species of pigeon that we all think is absolutely common, and yes, it is. This one here, I'm having trouble to flap, is a bluish-green pigeon. Looks like the flapping mechanism has gone a bit corrupted. And, um, yeah, that's just about it, guys, eh? And that was actually very, very nice, looking at these beautiful, blooming, goddamn, colourful pigeons. Mind you, I could literally just give it, you know, to everything else though. And I tell you what, guys, there'll be more pigeons along the way, eh? Oh, God. Oh, my God, eh? It feels like it's just too much. So many pigeons in here. Get in here! Or else I'll just turn you guys into squab. Well, actually, they won't turn into squab because they're blooming paper birds. Let's take a look at another um, pigeon product. 
It's the Pink Beat Fell Pigeons and Doves 12 pack, 14 pounds, which is quite normal. Um, this is actually much better uh, compared to the other toy reviews I did back in 2019. Let's take a look at what we've got. They all come with pink beaks, but they also come in different colours here. There's two red ones here. One's a scarlet red, which is like a reddish orangish uh, pigeon. And the other one's more of a, yeah, typical red. And that one here is a brown looking pigeon. They've all got pink beaks. They've also got a couple of these two uh, flamingo pigeons. Because one of the eyes looks a bit distorted in that one there. Same goes with the other side. It almost looks like it's... That the eyes look like it's staring you to hell. It's a bit too distorted for me. This one here is nicer and clearer. And I've also made um, this brown pigeon here. Very, very nice, of course. And I've also made, I think, there, there's actually two pigeons. There's actually um, two pigeons which are in the star. One of them has actually got a couple of differences here. The other one doesn't have any line detailing, whereas this one does have across the tail and also the wings here. And one thing to say is, is that these pigeons are based off a breed in Pakistan. I would actually say that these birds uh, are based on the Lahore pigeon, which is basically a Pakistani breed of pigeon, uh, which m typically has feathers around the feet, you know, fancy pigeons and blah, blah. Uh, this one here, that looks very nice. It's just a typical cartoony piece stuff. That there is, yes, it's another piece stuff. Very interesting, I suppose. I dare say you can call them pigeons, doves, whatever. I've no idea at the moment, eh? Very nice. And this one here. I think this is what we often tend to find in these types of rock doves. I think this is what we often call these. Uh, I think it's a racing homer pigeon. Uh, a humming pigeon, if I like to call it. There's another piece dove with a bit of pink. Uh, maybe it's, <laughs> it's a bit of an... I don't know what I'm saying. Because I've got the cold with me though. Oh my god, this is going to make me abandon this toy view forever and ever. <laughs> Straight away, I just feel like if I just keep on sneezing, people are just going to unsubscribe me. Unfortunately, I have a declining channel of 21 subscribers now. Sorry, subscribers. <laughs> Nearly got into the fire wheel, didn't I? I am planning to do a fire wheel. But I just feel like, nah, I just want to continue on doing toy reviews at night. Oh my goodness me, eh? What's the point of just watching videos that literally feature a 19-year-old man just doing a whole bunch of toy reviews and blah blah? <sighs> Such as life. Well, let's take a look at what we have here. This is the Checkered Rock Dove Flop 12 Pack. And you said the F word, didn't I? <laughs> but anyways, this is a kid's video, £12.99 or £13. With a bit of adult taste into it here. Oh, look at that. They almost look like the blue bar pigeon, but with checkered designs. Not. Well, they're trying to look like that these birds are basically the pigeons that you find in the city. Uh, like the blue bar pigeon, of course. There's the other one there. They've all got fell tip detailing, which is meant to represent... Oh, this one's got a bit of an error here. This here's the other one out, because I didn't put any grey detailing, and they, um black felt tip design. Uh, very lazy. The marker, of course, one of them is missing the detailing, of course. Uh, the eyes are okay. Uh, so, oh, there's another one here. We've got two of them which don't have the felt tip pen detailing, of course. The felt tip pen detailing is missing. That one there does have that one, of course. I'm trying to flap the wings just to make sure they all have them, of course. And, um, you know, in the Flip Flap channel, I tend to make a lot you know, a lot of mistakes on my channel. <laughs> I just feel like maybe one day I should basically take my time while I'm speaking at the moment now because I just feel like I've got this cold that is just so hard to basically get it out there. I wonder why it's so easy to just penetrate through these um, types of common illnesses. I just feel like people could just die from flu and blah blah. Oh god, the human... <laughs> there you go, it's landed. <laughs> oh, my nose is taking over this video now. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like I could just sneeze there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, day. Let's take a look. We've got this one here. It's a 
Roosting Tropical Water Birds 12 pack, 14 pounds. Look at that, there's a couple of. I wonder what these birds are. Are these cotton pygmy geese? I think they are, because I've had a look at these. And on the other side, there are a couple of gold bill turns. They're not sandwich turns because they don't have the very, very hairy like crest that they have there. It's like, you know, a mohawk sort of crest, I would say. And the car's a bit different here as well. And one misconception that I've actually realised is that gold bill turns do eat fish, but it turns out they don't because gold bill turns don't actually tend to do a bit of diving. They don't actually do a bit of surface diving, like, you know, plunging to dive underwater to catch fish like many of, you know, all the other white terns. But instead, they would literally, they would, I think they would primarily eat crabs and other invertebrates such as insects and also certain vertebrates like amphibians, like frogs, toads and reptiles as well. This is what we have. This is a... Cotton pygmy goose, this is a male, comes with these beautiful emerald green gloss wings with a bit of a white texture onto them. And there's a grey tail, look at that, it's got red eyes. Here's the other male, and they've all got... <laughs> In fact, all of the cotton pygmy geese, including this beautiful female one here, has got a beautiful beak, which is open. I love the way the mandible and things like that, they're just open. And it comes with some fish, and I have to show you the fish because there'll be people saying, Ivan, well, you didn't show us the freaking fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's some fishies, eh? Look at that. Comes with some very interesting designs, and also they all look very nice in the way they've been detailed, of course. Let's put the fishies inside, and the turns. Looking forward to a whole bunch of seabird colonies this year. You know, finding a whole bunch of kitty wakes and things like that. Here's the last product that we're going to be looking at in this video. It's the Eastern Cattle Egret Racial Flock 12 Pack, £13.50. And why I would say it's an Eastern Cattle Egret is because I like different subspecies of cattle egrets. Uh, this particular subspecies tends to have an ochre looking colorization on the head and neck during the breeding season. Let's take a look what we have. There's a couple of worms here. <laughs> which are not realistic. Here's three of these worms there. And you also get these freaking fishies as well. And uh, where's the other one? There's, there it is there. There's the other freaking fish. I don't know what fish it is. Is it like an Australian grayling? I think it is. It's like an Australian grayling, if you ask me. Luckily enough, they're not British Wildlife Collection toy uh, products because if they were British Wildlife Collection toy products, well, um, the court, I'm not sure what it is, but the Eastern Cattle Egret, you know, uh, Bobacus commandus, uh, Ibis commandus, uh, subspecies of bird would probably be unrealistic to exist in the UK. Um, but that's how these birds are like, though. They're very nice. So I hope this video has given you to a whole bunch of things that were let into some very brand new toys that have been released for 2020, and I've actually realised that one of the flip flap products has actually said the word or the sentence of being first toy released in 2020, and it's this one here, the Checkered Rock Dove Flock 12 Pack, the one which has two mistakes on the pigeons there that are missing their checkered design. Anyways, I think that's just about it in this video. Please give this video a like, and I do apologise for the flu and also the way I've been performing in this video because, yes, I'm feeling like I'm in, you know, <laughs> I feel like I'm infected. I feel like I've got a very, you know, infected state at the moment. I feel like I'm, I'm having an infectious state at the moment because of this. <gasps> Curse those blooming tissues. <laughs> There's a tissue on the screen now. Just make all these children die after watching these videos, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for cursing like that, but that's not swearing. Anyways, I have to say thank you very much for watching this video. Peace in the Middle East. And subscribe to my YouTube channel as long as the tissues are in the bin. Not on the freaking floor. Bye.